Hey all, uh, if you've ever wondered what to do with uh, green vegetables at the end of the growing season, like green tomatoes or chilies, anything like that, you can always pickle them like I've done here. My dad does this with green tomatoes at the end of the growing season and they are absolutely delicious. Now these ones are habaneros, uh, and, uh, I believe, and they're going to be, they are quite hot. But I, I like eating them. I've got another batch on the go right here and as you can see this is the first step I've cut them well, I wash them off cut them up and uh, pop them in there with some salt as you can see there's a fair bit of salt in there uh, not too much this has been already going for a bit over 12 hours now you've got to let it go for 24 and that just gets all the excess moisture out of it. None of that liquid was in the bottom when I started this process. Anyway, on to the next step. Okay, time for step number two. And open that up. And over in the sink here, we've got a colander. And basically all we're doing, one-handed, quite difficult, is tipping this out into the colander like so. So there we go. That's now in the colander. Now you don't have to, but I'm going to give this a quick rinse off. That's enough. See how much salt that got rid of? Excellent. Okay. Mmm, I can smell the heat off that. Okay, the next thing we do is get a weight which in this case is going to be a bowl and I'm just going to fill that up with water highly exciting TV here Rightio. So that's it, and basically that's just going to stay right there. Yep. Move that can opener. Okay, it's going to stay right there for 24 hours. Hang on a second. Let me see how to Okay, so we've got that there, and this goes on top. And basically just weighs it down. So there we go. See you for the next step. Okay, ready for the third step. I should mention before that each of these steps takes um, about 24 hours. So 24 hours in the salt, 24 hours under the weight, and 24 hours for the next step. So first thing off, weight off. any bits that are stuck to the bottom of the pot. Rightio. And then it's just a simple matter of putting the chilies into the jar. Probably, depending on how hot your chilies are, it's probably a good idea to either uh, wear gloves or um, wash it, have somewhere where you can wash your hands straight afterwards. Now the salt water that's come out of these is actually left a crust on the, on the bottom here, which tells you that it's doing its job right. Right go. So we've got our chilies in the jar. The simple matter of getting some uh, vinegar. I'm just using white vinegar here. This is going to be tipped out anyway, there's no sense wasting good stuff on it. Here we go. And that's it for another 24 hours.
here we are for the uh, next instalment. As you can see, the, uh, the chilies have soaked up a lot of the vinegar. So I think what happens is the salt actually takes liquid out and then the vinegar fills it back up again. Anyway, we just have to drain that off and then put a weight on top of it. So here we go. Back into our trusty colander. And let me tell you, the smell of chili is pretty much overwhelming at this point. Okay, looking good though. Get out of the way. And then we'll put our weight, our bowl of water, back on top and let it drain for 24 hours. See you next. Okay, and now for the last step, just we'll take off the weight. It might have some chili stuck to the bottom of it, so just keep an eye out. Yeah, see there's one. Right here, yeah. keep the bowl. Righty, over there. Okay, so we've got our pickled chilies now in the bowl. To that, yeah, you, know, you can stick in whatever herbs and spices you like, I suppose, with coriander and stuff like that. I'm going to use some garlic, uh, thyme, and oregano. How much? Uh, that much. If you're doing pickled tomatoes or other vegetables, then you could probably uh, put some chilli in that as well. Obviously, I'm doing chilies. There's no point in putting more chilli in there. Okay. Stir that around. Now, you can just put these in the jars and just layer it. Um, it seems like a bit of an effort to me. Just make sure all the uh, herbs and spices and other things are well mixed through. Okay, and now the next part is to put it in the jars. So we've cleaned these jars out, and it uh, doesn't really matter what sort. Uh, Really easy. Get some uh, olive oil and just fill the jars up and cover them. Now, obviously, when you finish the um, the actual chilies, keep this oil because it's dynamite. Really nice salad dressings or um, or in meals. Now what I'll do is uh, I'll fill these up and then I'll keep them here overnight. And if any of the uh, 
olive oil drains down and ends up with air pockets then I'll put a bit more in. The idea is to have everything covered by the oil. Whack the lid on. Now I'd leave those for a good two weeks um, before you started eating them. And like I said, if you're going to use chilies this hot, then you probably want to go easy on them. Unless you're made of sterner stuff than I am. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to clean up. After about two weeks, you're going to have these beautiful pickled chilies. And my favourite way to eat these is just on a piece of bread. And you're not going to need too much of this because these things are really hot. Enjoy, and I'll see you later.